just a quick uh, sort of uh, service integration talk. Um, I'm kind of filling it at the last minute. Um, I'm Mark Blackman, and I'm working with one of the sponsors, Exonetric, here. We provided the cupcakes and coffee, which were awfully short in the first place. Yeah. Hey, you provide our mailing list, don't you? Yes. The, um, <laughs> the problem that you have, the, the requirement to use a SOAP web service is quite common because quite a few services are presented to SOAP and it's still quite popular despite the fact a lot of people have very not nice things to say about SOAP. Um, uh, what we use is for these services, which is a nice solution for us, is we use XML compile SOAP which I, I don't see being used very often that by Mark Obermeer, but it works quite well for us. Um, you just give it some WSDL, you compile a client per method, which is a code <coughs> reference. You can call it with a hash of parameters, which is the nice part for it. Um, in particular, one of the sort of competing packages, so WSDL, will generate a bunch of types and try and mirror the types exactly, where this just gives you the standard Perl types and a hash. It's a, a lot simpler to work with. It'll return once you call this code reference, it will return a hash back based on whatever the SOAP service um, gave you back. Um, so what we do is we just wrap that call, um, say, in your, in your own namespace. So <clears throat> currently I've just got a little module called XCS Wrapper, which a, um, just builds a wrapper module for you. So we just cycle through the web service methods as presented in the WSDL. We build each client for each of the methods as a, as a code reference. Then we then wrap that cl client code reference with an anonymous sub that gives us uh, validation at a lower level and some logging callbacks at that level. And then we can just install the anonymous sub into the target namespace as a method with the same name, letting us make simple calls like this, where dollar result is just a big hash object which you can choose to wrap further if you like and turn it to a, a better object. And so you can just call the, uh, the external, say the external method is called foo, on the SOAP service, and you just call it with a nice hash of parameters, and the result um, is, is just as easy to parse. Uh, so um, that's actually very short, with making up for all the time I burnt uh, learning how to drive a display. Um, that was I, this was just a little idea that I've had that I implemented, and uh, I haven't seen it implemented anywhere else, and I just thought I'd present it because I think it makes it much nicer to use SOAP services, and uh, that covers everything for now. Okay.